would have loved to talk to Rodney Brooks, but he had the 10-inch Pro Stock tires on. This is a late model race. So, the win has been pulled and we move everybody up once. Sorry about that, guys. So, uh, while well, they get the 40s, I'm not sure they're going to give him the option to come out here if he's able to, but uh, let's at least get a word with him. Uh, here he comes. He's coming. Let's get a word with second place here while he's on his way out here. Uh, Mike Moody, got Parker down here with him. And uh, Mike, I know you started out with the Pro Stock big, big struggle for the first half of the season. Probably one of the best decisions you made this year was to switch over the lane. Oh, definitely. And uh, we were considering running it as the Pro Stock today, and after watching that, I'm glad I did. Absolutely. Uh, again, I know it's been a struggle, but you guys have had that. Uh, perseverance is the word that always comes to mind with, with how you guys are going. Uh, always loving racing. Uh, give some credit to your crew and all the guys that help you on this car. Yeah, definitely a lot of good people. Most important, my wife, kids, uh, Duncan Dwight, Alan Moore, and uh, Scott Chabot. All right, good job. Nice second place finish today for Mike Booney. Jump over here to talk to our third place guy. Uh, yeah, we wait for you. So we'll uh, give Brandon a chance to unstrap here and get out, and then we'll get over and talk to our race winner. But it's uh, been a good season for this kid in his first full year here in the late models. He ran five races last year. Unfortunately, took him out of the running for rookie of the year this year, but. Uh, a strong run again for the 47, Brandon. Uh, I know a little frustrated with the deal, uh, looking like you were fourth at first, but home for a nice third place finish. Yeah, it's nice to see another top three come out and win. I wish I could get another win, but I'll settle for a top three. A lot of good help on this car all year long for you. Uh, give them some credit. Absolutely. I couldn't have done this, though, especially my dad, James Osmond, uh, my brother, Dylan, uh, Ronnie, Alex, all the I also got to thank all my uh, sponsors, Four Seasons Automotive, it's going, uh, Pathos Cast in Napa, Dr. Love Excavation, uh, Mako Painting Restoration, and uh, Junior Trophy. All right, good job. Nice third place run today for Brandon Bailey. And uh, we can make uh, Brandon Simmons run around here. But uh, turn around and face the crowd here. Nick Hinkley, uh, good way to end your championship season. Got a new nose on the car, and I imagine a few new right front part, so what did you guys have to do to get this thing race ready today? Yeah, it was a uh, heavy bolt on the right front, and uh, <laughs> you know, with both handles. And, uh, we were actually hoping to buy some tires to run this race, and basically just want to come shake it down, hopefully the car is back to where it was, so. Uh, I mean, hey, if I, if I wanted to go on Pro Stock guys in a full barrel, I would have done the same thing, so it's one of them deals, but I'm going to thank all my sponsors, Ideal Portable Pro, that's the galley, Pink Spade, uh, Great Juice Cars, everybody helped me out, Brent, Grant, and Joey. Uh, Scott, Alan, Mike helps out, my old man. Uh, I gotta thank my wife, Asset, for putting up with this whole season, and, and my, uh, my new boy, Ben. All right, and uh, I know uh, you're one of those guys that customarily has to start way back in the field around 16th, 17th on every given weekend. How do you feel to be able to start up front for a change? Boy, I miss that. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, he's your 2017 late model champion, that is Nick.